Hello everyone, so in this video I'll be showing how to create a fractional factorial design or it is also called as a screening design uh, to see uh, how we can uh, you know reduce the number of trials required when doing a particular experiment uh, when we have you know certain constraints such as uh, total number of experiments run or uh, resource constraints something like that so to do so you go to DOE then go to classical <clears throat> then come to two level screening and then choose screening design so in this uh, I'll be putting in my uh, thickness of a polymer that I'm spinning and the <clears throat> goal is here to match the target the lower spec limit is 48 and the upper spec limit is 53 and I have uh, five variables which are all continuous so first variable is concentration it can be between 1 and 3 centipoise or weight percent then I'm having speed uh, this goes from 2000 rpm to 4000 rpm then I have spin time which is from 10 to 40 seconds then I have humidity is in percent which can go from 30 to 70 percent and then uh, lastly I have big temperature which can be between uh, 65 and 95 so once you input all your values you can click continue and here you have two options you can either choose from a list of fractional factorial designs or uh, construct a main effect screening design I'll be using the, uh, uh, the list of fractional factorial designs at the moment so from this design list you can see we have multiple options and uh, so on the resolution it tells you what are all the uh, effects uh, that you can uh, estimate so if it is a full factorial design then you would have to collect uh, 32 number of uh, data points or conduct 32 runs and in this case you will be able to estimate uh, all the main effects and all the two-way interactions and basically every single interaction uh, but then uh, for a fractional factorial design uh, you have the option of uh, it's basically uh, like uh, 2 to the power of k minus r where k is the number of factors and r is the uh, number of uh, times uh, the experiments will be divided into halves so if it is k uh, 5 minus 1 uh, let's say r is 1 so in this case it will be 2 to the power of 5 minus 1 or 2 to the power of 4 experiments or you will have 16 so in 16 uh, you can see that uh, you can estimate all the uh, main effects and uh, here uh, you can estimate uh, all the uh, two-way interactions so and you also have the option of uh, here uh, 2 to the power of uh, 5 minus 2 when r is 2 or you'll have uh, where you can conduct eight runs and here you can estimate uh, three main effects all the main effects and uh, three two-way interactions so when you have a, uh, you know when you don't have enough uh, data points for estimating all of them uh, jump does something called aliasing so the main reason why uh, aliasing is done is uh, when uh, uh, you know the estimate of one effect uh, includes the influence of uh, more than uh, one other effect so if you click uh, here under the aliasing effects you'll be able to see that uh, uh, which are the effects that are being aliased or influenced by other variables uh, but yeah here uh, let me go back uh, and so yeah in this example I'll be choosing uh, the 16 uh, or 2 to the power of 5 minus 1 uh, fractional factorial design and once you click continue here uh, always you know it's a good idea to randomize your run order so that you can average out uh, any errors or uh, remove any lurking variables such as time and you can also add a number of center points and uh, you can also say the number of replicates is one uh, in this case I'm going to leave it at zero 
and then when I say make table so here you can see that uh, 16 runs uh, plus uh, 2 runs additional runs which are uh, for the center points have been included so you can connect the experiment in this order and then once I have the thickness value I'll be able to evaluate the model using uh, the various uh, options that I have here uh, yeah let's quickly take a look at the model option here uh, so here uh, you can see that uh, uh, this is the uh, the fit uh, the fit model automatically opens up with uh, the y variable as well as the interactions uh, uh, the, the main effects as well as the uh, two-way interactions included here so once you have your you know once I input my thickness values uh, I can actually uh, directly you know choose the model script and run the process to see how the uh, the linear model fits to this current data uh, basically in this case it will be multiple linear regression and uh, other than that I also have this option to uh, screen and I also have uh, evaluate design uh, and uh, the, the, if you want to make any changes to the DOE dialog box where let's say you want to add more variables or remove a variable you can do that here 